We've made significant progress since the beginning. Today, we have a working prototype. It generates urine. Along the way, we've developed a filter unit that operates with blood pressure alone. We've put cells into our device that provides the other metabolic functions of a kidney. In between, we've developed coatings that enable the patients to avoid anticoagulation drugs. We've also come up with a way to prevent the need for immune suppression drugs. So these milestones are important as we achieve the fundamental features of an implantable bioartificial kidney. The goal of an implantable bioartificial kidney is to be totally implanted, allow the patient to move freely and eat and drink normally. We would not want the patient to be on immune suppression drugs would not want the patient to be on blood thinning drugs. So what we've done over the past few years is to show the membrane technology we've developed for filtration does not require blood thinners. It does not lead to clotting. It does not clog. Moreover, the membrane has been engineered such that the cells that are inside the device are protected from the patient's immune system so that the patient would not need to take anti-rejection drugs. These features are key to developing an implantable body artificial kidney that can be used by anyone that needs one.